we're currently in Brainsham. We're going to walk towards the coast, right along the southwest coastline to that church, and then on to Pervelli. And this is where we start. So it's only going to be about a five mile walk today, but uh, the weather is holding at the moment, no rain, so let's see how it goes. So we've come straight into a forest, and as you can see down there, there's a little windy river. Beautiful. But it's very quiet, apart from the wind. We've reached the sea. The As you hear, it's a bit windy. snaked our way all the way down this uh, hill, felt like a mountain, and we're just making our way to the bottom there, but look at this old little house there, how cool is that, right by a river going into the sea, I love finding places like that, I'd live in there, no problem. This is a little bit more of the derelict buildings. some sort of sign here so I'm guessing it's some sort of I don't know Smarton works oh yeah line burning that's what it was the line burning and these are a little bit more over here we'll have a look at I'm guessing this is where the people lived for the purposes of a line building I'm guessing so that's proper RCJ in there so Maybe it was used, or maybe that's just to support it. And this has all been broken out, which is sad, and the door smashed in, and not graffiti, I think. Yeah. Old workbench, some rope, or some lobster pots, and some graffiti. Huh. Looks like someone's left some stuff here. Maybe they're living here. But there we go them do what they, what they want to do with that and here we are back outside we're three quarters of a of the way up the hill look at that view isn't that stunning oh, wow just amazing on we go we have made it into Clovelly, the bottom part of Clovelly. We're going to go and find somewhere where we can eat our sandwiches and chill out for a little bit because that's been quite a tough walk. But we've made it to the place we wanted to get to. Woohoo! How cute is this little tunnel we're going through? So, we're saying the last time we went to Clovelly was before we were married, which was over 20 years ago. So, wow. So we found a good place to stop and have our, I'm having chicken and stuffing with hot chocolate and back at disco corn cocktail. Mm -hmm. Who's having chicken mayonnaise with barbecue for the hoops and hot chocolate and the dogs are just scabbing. So we're in Clovelly High Street now. As you can see, we're going up. Oh. Beautiful. Haven't been here for over 20 years. Looks the same as I uh, remember it. <laughs> Very pretty. People um, that do shopping here and live here, that's how they get the shopping on these little sleighs. They make them out of all sorts of things. But that's how they get their shopping down from the, the top. And this is a bit more of the high street. Absolutely beautiful. Never seen it so quiet. Look at that. We're at the top. That's the view from the top. 
very pretty little village. Place to come here. Enjoyed that. Now the walk back. So we're at the top now. Look at all these sleds. <laughs> Can move all sorts down a hill. Even rubbish bins. And the donkey stables over there. Oh, so we're coming onto someone's private estate. Loads of little houses here and all sorts. There's a big church over there as well. But our OS map tells us there is a bridal way going down here. So we shall follow it and hopefully nobody shall tell us off. So this is a lovely place. Look at that house at the end there. Beautiful. I like this place. Very me. We're back in a woodland now. And we've done four and a half miles so far. And we're on our way back to the National Trust car park. But it's a lovely little woodland. You can hear the water running as well through the streams. Yeah, creation at its best. Love it. That house there has got a, a sundial on it. It, does, it looks like it's written in French because it looks like a very French house. Oh, look at that one there. They're all empty. That's the crazy thing. That's completely empty in there. Why? Look at all the stables over there, all empty. Wow. What a waste. We've done it. Seven miles. It was a difficult seven miles because there's a lot of hills, a lot of up and downs, a lot of squidgy mud, but it was enjoyable. We went to some beautiful places and Clovelly was lovely. So I'm back home for a bath, I think. And look at the dogs. Can they get more dirtier? They are filthy, but they've had fun. <laughs>